manganese mining, uh, mining sector at uh, Postmasberg in the Northern Cape. Residents in the area are demanding answers on how Quito mining was given rights to mine at a burial site. At first glance, this is a normal manganese mining site. However, earlier in the week, miners dug up what is believed to be human remains, sending shockwaves through the community. People were staying at that area for many years before, before they were forcibly removed. Now our people came back, now there were there are many activities we have to ask, the, as the municipality are going to ask, sit down with the DMR and ask them the procedures of them granting licenses to these companies that are mining around the area. What steps did they take? Did they make sure that they know if there were the graves or what happened there before? The discovered remains have since been taken for forensic tests. As the leader of the community, as the ward councillor of Maramani area, uh, my thought will be just to bring up the closure of those people that has been buried here. Because I feel as the leader to say it is um, unconstitutional to have uh, this uh, kind of a crisis that we are having in Maramani, of which people were buried and the mine has uh, done what they done. Work has since been halted at the mine while investigations continue. Residents want the Department of Mineral Resources to take responsibility. We want to know who gave them permission to mine here because we have never sat in a meeting to grant them permission. And hopefully now that human remains have been discovered, the government will listen to us. Mine management has declined to comment at this stage, saying a response will only be given once the forensic tests and investigations are concluded. Attempts to get comment from the Mineral Resources Department have also been unsuccessful. Neria Lakota, SABC News, Postmasburg, Northern Cape.